the everyday grind. Ever dream of a life of romantic adventure? Want to get away from it all? We offer you Escape. Escape, designed to free you from the four walls of today for a half hour of high adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, we present a story of two boys and the dreadful game which they played. You might have read about it in your newspaper. It might have happened in your town. And if it did, it must never happen again. So listen now as Escape brings you Anthony Ellis' terrifying play, The Game. Sure. 
water chaser? What about you? No water for me. Same thing. Then. Sit down. We'll talk. They drank. They didn't like it, but they'd started the game and they couldn't stop. The small clock with an hour from peace ticked above them, the eyes of the bird metronomically switching from side to side. A car passed occasionally, and there was a tension until the sound of tire and engine faded away. It didn't take too long for the warmth to grow and the eyes to become hot, the tongue loose. How do you figure all this, huh? Nobody asks you. I know what I am. I know I'm not soft. I'm not chicken. Ah, you. You're afraid to get drunk. I'm getting drunk with you. Because you were afraid I'd think you were chicken. That's why. That's why. You're crazy. I've seen you afraid. I had to explain it to the guys. When? When? That time we went shooting ducks with the old man's shotgun. You were chicken then. You're crazy. The guys thought you were. Afraid of the gun. Well, that's not chicken. Well, that's what I told them. I'm not sure. Uh-uh. No, you can't run out on that boy. I'm your friend, and I'm telling you for your own good. Okay, work. okay, you told me I'm chicken. No guts, now forget it. Afraid of a gun. You and me can never go hunting up in the mountains, I'll tell you that. Cut it out. You are, kid. You're chicken. You want to fight? Is that what you want, huh? You want to? What? Oh, that doesn't mean anything. Kid stuff. I got a better idea. You want to really do something that'll show, boy, that'll really show it? Do what? Play a game. You like games? Real easy game to learn. Nothing to it. Yeah. Have a drink. Sit down. Game? Okay. Yeah, I read about it a while back. Russian roulette. I never heard. Some kind of gamble? I'll tell you. It's real easy. First, you get a gun. Revolver. A real gun, Danny. Bullet gun, Danny. So what? You take one bullet and you leave it in the gun, see? Then we take turns. What kind of crazy game is that? We take turns pointing at our heads and pulling the trigger. If nothing happens to you, I take the gun. Send the cylinder and point it at my head and shoot. You call that a game? Sure. See which one goes chicken first. You never know where the bullet is. And if you send the cylinder and the bullet cup comes up on your turn, Louie. Oh, that's nuts. In this book, it went a long time. Then one guy got like you, get 
He was chicken, and he folded. Listen, I'm sick of hearing you say that. Now I'm sick of it. You hear? You want to know something? You get chicken before me. You. Ah, uh, I wouldn't do it to you, Pants. Don't worry. Wouldn't be fair. Forget now, it. Now wait a minute. You started it. Go ahead. Finish it. Your old man got a gun, has he? Sure. Okay. You want to be crazy? Okay. Go ahead. Get the gun. Go ahead. Well, go on. Get it. Let's start playing. Red smiled a smile of pity. With deliberate ease, he sauntered from the room. Pin might have seen him stagger a moment as he reached the door, but Pin wasn't looking. He was noticing, for the first time, his hands lying flattened on the table, disassociated. And there was a scar on the right index finger. He got it when he cut himself 12 years before on his first borrowed scout knife. Now... Only the scar, a memory on a trigger finger. He didn't look up again until Red came back with the gun. Thirty-eight. That's the best handgun. Wanna hold it? No. I figured you wouldn't. It's okay, we'll forget it. Uh-uh. Go ahead. Take out the bullet. Okay. Take out five. Leave one. Huh, Penny? Yeah. Take out five. Leave one.
At this point of the game, there was a numbness which did not allow for speculation of pain, mother, father. Rather, Pin was surprised by the weight of the gun, the physical oneness with it lying in his hand. He was afraid of it and fascinated in his fear. Red watched, his mouth open a little, eyes reddened with drinking, but bright, watchful, seeing the friend of his youth slowly raise the gun, unsteady, and awkwardly turning the barrel to his head. He wet his lips and waited. How does it feel? I don't know. Are you scared? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. You sure look scared. Real white. I didn't think you'd do it. You took long. You're doing a lot of talking. You're scared. It's your turn. Give me the gun. Boy, that's a real gun. Remember when we were kids? Cat pistol. Bet you never thought we'd be doing this. No. Okay. My turn. Where are you, baby? Where are you? I want to make a side bet on this one. It's going to pay me if you lose. <laughs> Watch, Ben. When you make up your mind to do it, do it quick, see? Like this? Good game, huh? I'll make you one bet, though. What's that? You crack four, I do. You're nuts. A buck? A buck? Sure, a buck. The game had taken another turn. It presented an added incentive to win. A dollar bet that one boy would be a coward. A boy would lose his nerve. Wouldn't have the guts to take another chance at blowing his brains out. Good bet, that. Sensible, bright young man. The room was too warm, and outside the middle afternoon sun blazed down hot on the heavy sycamore trees, dusty and still. A 12-year-old passed by on the street whistling tunelessly, childishly, on his way to the drugstore for a soda. Go ahead. Or do you want to quit now? I'll do it. Don't worry. I'm not quitting. Boy, I'll say this for you. The guy who's as scared of guns as you are, you're doing all right. It gets tougher now, though. It's all in the luck, you know? You lucky, Ben? Yeah. I'm lucky. That's good. I'm not lucky. I'm not anything. Why am I doing this? I wonder if I'll hear the noise before I feel pain. Or what it'll be like. When Grandma died, they said there wasn't any pain. It's too hot in here. The gun feels hot. Red things are yellow. smiling if I pointed the gun at him. Maybe you need another drink, huh? No. I don't want any more. Okay. Well. Red. Huh. Well, what's the idea, huh? What do you want me to meet for? You scared? No, no, I'm not scared. Maybe... Maybe we should play it this way for a while. I shoot at you, and you shoot at me. That's not the game. Why not? Same thing? No. That'd be like murder. You want to play, you play it right. Who says the way we've been playing is right? Oh, I get it. You're trying to get out of taking your next shot. I'm asking you, who says the way we're playing is right? Listen, when you quit pointing at me. What difference does it make? Just tell me that. It's the difference we're playing Russian roulette. That's the difference. 
You want to quit space, though, that's all. I'm not quitting. Okay, then. Take your shot. It was a thing to be well considered on the part of Red. The abstract quality of self-destruction was one thing. But a gun pointed at him, gun held in another hand. This was not a game of his choosing. He'd have no part of it. Suddenly, he knew himself to be sober, terribly sober. And because of this, and the fact that the game had mushroomed beyond his understanding, there was no stopping the play. He knew that Pin was sober, too. And as from a great distance, he saw his friend raise the gun. But steadily this time, pressure whitening the index finger, the muzzle touching just at a pulsing vein he had noticed in Pin's temple. I didn't die. I didn't die. Now he's got to do it again. I showed him. I did it. That's twice for me. He's got to take his turn now. I've lived twice. He hasn't yet. I wonder how this started. I wonder why it doesn't stop. Maybe there were only five bullets in the thing. No, there were six. I saw them. There's still one in there. <laughs> My legs gone to sleep. I wish I could get up. Walk on it. You're a lucky guy. Yeah. I'm lucky, too. You better be. My turn now. My turn. Why didn't he quit? He's never had guts. Why didn't he quit? Maybe he's so drunk he hasn't got the sense. No, he's not drunk. Why didn't he quit? It's my turn. I gotta do it. He'd tell everyone if I didn't. He'd tell them all and they'd laugh. I don't know. I don't know. It feels... It feels like the bullet might be coming up. Not yet. Not yet. I got a smile like I'm enjoying it. <laughs> this will be something to tell our kids, huh, Pen? Yeah, it sure will. How long are you going to take? What's the matter? Make you nervous? Why should I be nervous? It's your shot. Okay, then. Shut up, huh? He doesn't want to do it. I'm not the only one. All his big talk. He's no more than me. All that big talk. Look at him. He's scared. It was that moment that Penn discovered this truth that he knew he wanted to. He could quit the game. And as he looked at Red, he became aware of a great anger. It had no direction, no apparent reason, but it filled him and made him strong. Let's quit. You're crazy. I want to quit. Nuts to you. My shot. I don't care. We'll quit. You quit when it's your shot. I'll take care of myself. Uh, I'm telling you, Rip, put the gun down. Drop dead. Put it down. You're chicken. Yeah. No.
Still not. Everything's fine. Okay. Okay, Mom. Sure, Mom. Yeah. 